name is Sel, I'm Louise, I'm a poet and today I'm going to be helping you uh, create an award winning poem so like you just make the best poems ever and when your poem goes into the competition the judges are like come on this is one amazing poem. Yes, yeah, so that's my job today to make that video for you. Um, so I thought I'd start, because this um, poetry film is aimed at young people, I thought I'd start by sharing a poem that I wrote when I was 18. And you might be 12, 13, 14, you might be 17, you might be 18. Uh, but this is what I was writing when I was 18. And um, it's a poem about a friend of mine, who a boy, who he always seemed to be getting into trouble and he always seemed to be hanging around with the wrong type of crowd. This is Dead End Friend. He's not finished yet. He's a long distance run. He's a rolling stone with his laces undone. He's a baby tree. He needs room to grow. He's a raging river. He needs room to flow. He's a masterpiece in a plastic frame. He's an untapped well. He's a crying shame. He's a cake mix mixed up. No need to get in the mix. He's not finished yet. He doesn't belong with them. Okay, you may have noticed that that is a list poem. Like a list of just things. And it's also got a lot of metaphors in. I love metaphors, I love similes, I love imagery. And by using a metaphor, you can make your poem really interesting. that I like to play when I work with young people and you might like to have a go at home with your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or your nan or your curer, whoever you live with uh, and it goes a bit like this. Okay, so the aim of this game is to warm up your imagination, your descriptive skills and your metaphor skills, that's right. So first of all we take a pen, this is a common pen, oh, it says it's got free accident claim lime on it. We're not advertising that, don't pause it, don't ring them, I don't know anything about these people. Okay, so first we take a pen and we say this is not a pen, it's a nose picker for giants, that's right. This is not a pen, it's one leg from a little chair, yeah, that's correct. So you look at your object, you look at the shape of it, cylindrical, you look at the colour, this one's white, yours might be a different colour, um, you um, imagine it could be something else. So it could be something that you use if you were going to use the pen as a prop in a play, or it could be something you might use if you were playing with it in a game, like, um, I don't know, this is not a pen, it's clearly a dead worm that was, you know, killed sunbathing. Uh, I have some willing uh, teenage accomplices, I bribed them basically with chocolate to be part of this film, so I pretend I'm talking to them. Um, so this is not a pen, what could it be? Pass it to them. This isn't a pen, it's a snooker cue. Hi, this is not a pen. This is actually the Mona Lisa. I would like to add at this point that the last young person was indeed my daughter who was tr attempting to do Morse code with her eyes saying save me. Uh, despite that, I have indeed made a little list poem using the metaphors generated during the pen game. Just come up with it like that off my head. First draft and here it is for your viewing pleasure.
I'd end with a bit of teenage angst because, you know, with poetry, you can write all your feelings, the happy things, the sad things, the angry things. Um, I hope you've in, I've inspired you to say, do you know what? I could do a lot better than that. I'm going to write a little poem. I'm going to enter it into the competition or even I'm going to write a little poem. I'm not going to enter it into the competition, but I'm going to develop a lifelong love of writing. Thank you to um, Francesca, Isabella and Jacob for helping me out with this and good luck and I'll see you soon.